Okay, so I did this video earlier called Surfside Post Tension versus Rebar. Thank you guys for the 56 thumbs up. But here, let's put this to rest. So everyone keeps writing me about this post tension. Let's go with um, this lady over here, writes me, sends me a link. I've seen multiple links, I'm, I'm, I'm getting frustrated by the links. So let me just debunk these people. So here's a guy, 55,000 views, and he spends all his time referencing post-tension cables that don't exist. Let's listen. Uh, go over was some... Uh, uh, Debunking this crap. Some um, photos that I pulled up from the Google imagery, so I'm going to pull those up now. We can kind of go through them. Um, but the first uh, image is actually going to be um, of the... Oh, hold on, I don't think I switched over. Come on. Sorry, guys. I thought it was faster than that. Here we go. All right. So the first image is of the building uh, that is remaining, and you can see these lines in the in the in the ceiling. Okay, I got to stop. You see, he's referencing the lines in the ceiling. Ceiling. Um, these vertical like stripes. That is where the PT cables actually blew the concrete out. All right. So it's full of shit. You notice those lines. You see the lines, right? And you can actually see the um, the cable ends kind of hanging down. And I don't believe those are cable ends. They're probably where the post tension um, <laughs> that he's claiming post tension went through there. It's uh, rebar reinforcement as it's being ripped down. It's in the lower part of this concrete, and it pulled beyond this wall. In doing so, it broke part of the wall here, and that's part of the wall you see where it. It just knocked through the studs there. Let's look at the imagery. So here's where he's looking. It's notched through there as this rebar tears down. Now look over here to your left. This is rebar. There's no post-tensioning. There's the hooks and all that. Now let's go one more time. The, this is what blowouts look like with post-tensioning. Some typical blowouts. They look like that. You see the strands. Those are the blowouts. All right. Now those are the blowouts. You guys can go look at blowouts if you like and entertain yourself. It depends on the profile why they blow out sometimes. The pressure uh, of the, of the uh, reinforcement the, put, creates pressure in the concrete and blows it out. Um, this is a slab at the building and you can see it's two directional. There's, con there's steel there and there's steel that direction. This is all steel. Now let's go to my video for a second here where I show you Ah, sorry about that. I was trying to shrink it down. Where I show you the difference. Guys and girls, that's post -tension. this is post-tension steel. It literally is the post-tension post cable. It's not like it. It's, it is the cable. This is what it, it looks came like. out of the structure. That's this what is what like. it looks like. Okay. It came out of a structure. Now I'm going to show you rebar. not brand new. This came out of a very old, you know, an old, an old structure. Not to be confused with reinforcement, that is rebar. This is rebar. See rebar with the ribs on them? Okay. So those are rebars with the ribs on them. Let's go back here, and, and I, I want to beat this up a little bit more, because he spent 20 minutes here uh, trying to convince sleeves. everybody that it's post-tensioning. Uh, you can see that on every floor, that the PT cables essentially popped out of the bottom of the slab during the collapse. And actually po essentially popped out of the bottom of the slab during the collapse. He goes further than that. He does, where the hell is the drawing? Um, he does a drawing and tell you where the post tension is more than likely connected and etc. And all this other crap. All right, let's just jump into it now. Let me, let me debunk them real quickly for you guys. And downloads, okay. Give me a second here. Um. So I think I might have it under under here. Look at the ceiling. You see your parallel rips? Now, look at the material that's right below it. This, the, this deck was connected to the deck here with reinforcement, rebar. When this deck came down, it unzipped it. It pulled it down. Here's some of it still connecting. Let's zoom in on that stuff. Oh, great. Right there. You see the ribs on it? You see the ribs there? Those ribs? You see the ribs here? 
This is ribs. This is, these are ribs. This is rebar. This is steel, metal, steel, not cabling. And that was up there. And then it just ripped down. It just fell down. It unzipped it like a zipper in your pants. Popping that surface, as you can see the depth of it. Popping the lower the dimensional steel, this dimension going this way. Just ripping it down. That's, that's all it is. Ripping it down. There is no uh, post-tensioning failure here with this with these lines that you we observe here. This is just the, the reinforcement being ripped out. So, you know, you, you got to be careful with ass hats like this. Uh, those are the sleeves. Um, and then and you can see that on every floor. So know, the first image is of the, the building... Uh, that is remaining, and you can see these lines in the in the in the ceiling. Okay. Um, these vertical like stripes. That is where the PT cables actually blew the concrete. Okay. So there, the, and then you look at his comments, and so many people, wonderful contribution contribution to the public's knowledge. This is exactly why the typical news channels are losing their audiences. Arc, and this one person says that uh, he's been a uh, the lawyers on the news. Edit to introduce uh, reports new, Jim. Okay. I am I am a mechanical engineer with career in FEA. Nothing specific to buildings, but I find your description and conclusions compelling. All right. Rooftop views. Okay. Looks like it would be punch. Uh, um, you have taught me so much today in the midst of the tragedy. Sending lots of love. Florida is a big sand... I like the guy who's, who's an engineer here that supervised or whatever. Spent 12 years as chief inspector for a top five structural engineering firm, New York City, New Jersey, Florida, and agree with all you have raised. So here's a ass hat, that, another stupid ass. He's got 78 comments. Because of his comment like that, it's, it's, the, uh, it's the thing. See, I re I, I'm not one to wear a suit. And you guys know that I, I work hard in the field too. I put my hands on. So if someone shows up, they, they, I don't look like the engineer. Sometimes I look like the guy working. And so um, the difference is there's a, uh, a halo effect it's called. So I, I put a bum in a suit right next to me, a guy homeless in a suit right next to on the job site standing over there. And then he showed me working there. Who are they going to think the engineer is, the guy in the suit, or are they going to look towards me? So it's, it's called the halo effect. So this guy gives, gives the halo, gives the suit, if you will. And then 78 people are like, yes. Let's see if 12, at least somebody disagrees with them. Um, slab reinforcement was ripped out of the floor. Bullshit. Easy crumb week. Bullshit all this, you know. So I'm, I'm pissed off, and I'm going to use the words, fucking asshat. You know, people like this, building integrity. The, the, these are the people that are, are shit. All right? And you can follow this one, too. You can follow all this stuff. There is no damn post-tension cables at this time present, presented anywhere in the debris that I can observe. So I'm not saying it's not in the lower base stack, but it's not the fuck up here. All right? It's not in that image that I showed you with, the, with this. And this is that, that ceiling that you're looking at over there. This is just steel reinforcement. I'm quite triggered by this, as you can see, because, you know, this, it goes out there and people start going down this line. It's post-tension failure. Post-tension failure. There is no effing post-tension in in, from this area up so far. Have I been able to observe one crumb of post-tension cabling? I see reinforcement, rebar everywhere. Beautifully, I'll add now that this steel looks awesome. This is still, the concrete at this level, I forget what it is, 2,500. I, they, they, they mixed 2,500, 6,000, 5,000, 4,000 on this structure so far I've found. So this might be only 2,500, which allows us just to rip it, unzip it, zip it, zip it out, rip it out. Basically, it, it shears as it goes, just shear, pop, 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 as you pull it down. Um, imagine one cable in there, and you can just pull down on it. You would pull, just one cable. Let's imagine you pulling on that end. And that's what happens there. This all came down and pulled on that one end. Um, it was overloaded um, after you after it lost here. The loads transferred to here. It stopped on this side. So you you know we can we can bad mouth some of this uh, puncture action going on, but hey, it stopped here, didn't it? 
So this is just a matter of probably overloading at, on this side. Very interesting, the pool thing. I know you guys talk about the pool, but I, thought, I think I saw the pool kind of status quo. So this is my trigger video on this. Um, my trigger video on this, and this is why I did this video. All right. Because That's you know the way I present sometimes. I, 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 I'm facetious, and then I wait to see what goes on. All right, so no post-tension in the structure. It's bullshit. People like this with 50,000 views, mind you, and everybody loving it. And this lady over guy or girl come up saying, come look at this. This guy is a good video. Bullshit. He's got a shit video, and it's bad content. And yet now I'm sure somebody's going to tell him, I hope, will he leave it up or will he delete it? It's shit. Goodbye. At least when I make a mistake, you guys know I make a mistake, I do a correction video. There's nothing to correct here on post tension. Now at the deck level, there might at the deck level at the pool over there. You know it's early. It's 1979, 1980. They really weren't uh, post tensioning. is kind of cutting edge right about then for us around the around and in, in other parts of the country. I took you to the bridge, the first one, the bridge in uh, Pennsylvania, to that post tension structure, one of the first in the United States. Um, now they do it out in Arizona and everywhere. But I took you guys in a video on that one once. But this is just that same thing you saw there, and I'm, and I'm, I'm pissed, so I'm hanging up.